welcome back to my channel. So we're going to jump into your quick energy check-in reading and we're going to see what messages the universe has for you, what you need to know about your situation and your person. Let me just say this. I kept getting the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Swords, and the Queen of Cups in your pre-shuffle. So something new was coming in for you, either a new person, a new opportunity of some, some sort. So we'll see. So what messages do you have for Pisces? What do they need to know? Yeah. So we have the Ten of Swords and we have the Knight of Wands with the Knight of Cups. Is this somebody coming back towards you wanting to fix a situation and make something right? And the universe is telling you, don't worry about it. This person stabbed you in the back because you have the Ten of Swords here. But I feel like whoever stabbed you in the back, Pisces, they're um, coming back towards you. They're going to take action with this Knight of Wands and this Knight of Cups. You have two Knights here, which um, is movement. And you also have Justice, which is good karma. You know, getting what you deserve after someone treating you bad. So maybe this is why you had the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Cups with your energy coming out in your pre-shuffle a lot. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces? What do they need to know? What can they expect? A new beginning with the full card. Some of you are going to be starting over with someone new. Either this happened already or it's coming in. Could be an Aries for some of you. We also have um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio or Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces? What do they need to know? What can they expect? Yep, the King of Wands. So some of you are either dealing with the King of Wands or this is who's coming in because it came right after the Fool card. Oh, we have the King of Wands. We have the King of Swords. Oh, okay. Okay, Spirit. So look, we have the King of Swords and the King of Wands. Some of you are going to have to make a decision between these two kings. So either you're already dealing with the King of Wands and the King of Swords is coming in, Pisces, and you're going to need to make a decision or vice versa. You're dealing with the King of Swords already and the King of Wands is coming in and you're going to have to make a decision. I hope I said that right. But anyway, um, you're either dealing with one or the other right now. And the one that you aren't dealing with, I feel like that's who's coming in for you. So... Maybe the universe is telling you to sit tight. Don't worry about the situation that you're in right now. Take some time. Pull away. Focus on yourself. Maybe that's what some of you are doing right now. This is where this justice card, because you're about to get justice. Some good karma is coming your way. You were treated unfair. And the universe is going to make things fair for you. So what messages do you have for Pisces? What do they need to know for this quick energy check-in? The lovers and the will of fortune. Wow. Okay, so there's going to be a change and a turnaround in your love life. Some of you may be meeting a soulmate or someone is coming in where you're going to get along with this person really well. There's definitely a decision, though, that you're going to have to make when it comes to love. So keep that in mind. I feel like you don't see it coming yet or it hasn't happened. Could be with a, a fixed sign. A Leo, an Aquarius, a Scorpio, or a Taurus. So what messages do you have for Pisces? What do they need to know? The death card. Some of you ended something already, or you're going to. And I feel like whoever this person is, yep, here are the same cards that was coming out in your pre-shuffle. Like Pisces. Some of you are going to be ending a situation with this person and they don't even see it coming with the seven of pentacles. I feel like this is someone where you're going to turn your back on this person unbeknownst to you because I don't feel like you see it coming either. Either this already happened for you or this is going to happen. We have the death card in the tower. And someone doesn't see it coming. And not only do they not see it coming, but the Seven of Pentacles is here. This person is going to start going back down memory lane about what you guys have and what you've built together. And talking about not letting things go and, and holding this together. But I feel like you're going to be like, no, I'm good. I got something new. 
<laughs> like, I'm going to take this leap of faith in a new direction. Um, Let me say this, though. I am picking up the energy that with the Two of Swords coming out in your reading so early on, you're going to be confused about whether you should do this or not. Because I feel like you're so used to being with this person, but trust your intuition, trust your gut feeling, because I feel like the universe is going to help you out with this. And whichever way your gut feeling and your intuition is telling you to go, just go in that direction, Pisces, because I don't feel like you're going to be disappointed once you do. Some of you may be um, reluctant to walk away from this person or to give up on them because this is a connection that you could have been in for years. And this is all you, you've known is this person. And all you've known is this repetitive cycle of breaking up and then making up. But if you've asked the universe for new love, it's coming in. The chariot moving in a new direction could be with the cancer. Yeah, the hermit. Yeah, five of cups, page of pentacles. It's like you're going to be down. Look at that. The star. I'm telling you, these are some of the same cards that was coming out in your pre-shuffle. Somebody is going to be angry, pissed off, not understanding. Like, what do you mean you don't want me anymore, Pisces? Oh, you've met someone new. You fell in love with someone new. Or you feel someone else is better for you. Yeah, we have the star card here. Healing. Having faith. The universe is saying have faith in what you believe in and, and, and what you want. And have faith in what you've asked for. Because it's definitely coming in for you. But I feel like... Um, it's not going to be an easy decision. So I'm not going to sit here and act like your cards are saying, oh, okay, yeah, you're going to jump out of this one connection and you're going to jump right into a new one. No, you know why it's not going to be easy? Because someone is going to try to reconcile with you. This person that either walked away from you, treated you bad, you know, that Ten of Swords energy you saw come out in the beginning of the reading. Yeah. The Ace of, the Ace of Wands is here. A new beginning, a fresh start, a new plan. Some of you are looking forward to this, I feel. You're like, bring in the new person. But then others of you, I feel like even though you're looking forward to this, what's going to confuse you is this person coming back saying, oh, I've changed. I still love you. We can make this work. Don't give up what we've had together. So we have the Seven of Swords, the Page of Wands, the Judgment. Here it is. Here's the world, the Seven of Cups. Someone offering love. After ending something with you or playing games, after being sneaky with you, they come back around with the page of wands, one in a second chance, the judgment card is here. Like somebody's going to have an awakening about you or about the situation and then realize, oh, wait, I still want Pisces, but I don't know. Is it going to be too late? Because we have the world card here. So, so far we had the death card, the world card. Wait, we had judgment, death, the world and the tower. That's all I needed to see. <laughs> like, I don't know. I just feel, um, just know that it, it just won't be easy because I feel like this person's going to talk you to death or text you to death. Like, you know, let's talk about it. Let's not end it. The Seven of Cups is here. It's like, what choice should I make? Someone is offering me a new start and a new beginning. They're, they're offering me love. They're giving me this cup. But then I have this other person that's trying to make things right with me. The Page of Wands. For some of you, it could be a younger uh, water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a younger fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag here. But this person was being sneaky for quite some time. They wasn't trying to offer you anything. They could have even had a third-party situation. And then when you walk away because something is being offered to you, something better, then here this person comes wanting to make things right with you. So those are the messages that I have for your reading, Pisces. Thank you for watching my channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.